It's a growing crime-fighting trend. Communities using license plate readers to scan every vehicle that comes into town. Sugarland has had the cameras for years. West University Place recently approved them for use. And now it's happening in the Memorial Villages. Channel 2 senior reporter Phil Archer joining us live at the Memorial Villages Police Department with how this technology is being used to fight crime there. Phil? Well, what the system does is spot wanted or suspicious cars as they travel down the street. Memorial Villages police have only been using it for a few months, but already attribute about a dozen arrests to the new system. Since April, the department's been using a new automated surveillance system that's led to the arrest of parole violators, robbery suspects, and car thieves. Since we've gone operational so far, we've recovered 10 stolen cars uh, and one set of stolen license plates. So just in the short time we've been operational, we've had uh, some very successful results. It's called an automated license plate reader. ALPRs are essentially cameras that photograph the plates of passing cars and check them through a state database to see if they're stolen or wanted. One case in point, Zachary Wingate, a convicted burglar and robber wanted for a parole violation who was stopped in a stolen car carrying weapons, tools, and ski masks. That happened November 1st after police were flagged by the plate reader. What it's doing is it's telling us when uh, bad actors are coming into the community. Usually folks that are involved in other criminal activities will very often use a stolen vehicle or stolen license plates to try to cover themselves. The system's produced by a Georgia company called Flock Safety. It doesn't record anything except the license plates in the rear of the car. The images are stored in the cloud for 30 days, then deleted. Memorial Villages has 14 units in operation, with six more planned to go online soon. I think this is just another very valuable tool. Other departments think so, too. As you mentioned, a similar system is already in place in Sugarland, but also in Houston and Jersey Village. And West University Police currently have one under construction. Reporting live in Bunker Hill Village, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.